Good evening, crafting friends. I'm Doreen DeSebus from It Begins With Ink and Paper, and welcome to Simply Stamping Sunday. So happy you're able to join me tonight, either on the live here on Facebook, on the replay on Facebook, or on my YouTube channel. And again, I need to really thank everyone out there for the support on my YouTube channel. I have received almost 100 new subscribers this week, and I have some videos that are just really um, out there that are just so many people are watching. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support um, and helping my Facebook page grow and my YouTube channel grow. I really appreciate it. So the new year and we're here with a new stamp set for Simply Stamping Sunday. So this month we are going to be using the Softly Sophisticated um, stamp set. This is a celebration stamp set that you can get along with an embossing folder. It's a bundle that you can earn with $100 in sales. It is one of my favorite types of stamp sets, besides being just floral, I really love two-step stamping. When You probably don't know this about me, but when I first started stamping about 30 years ago, yeah, it's been that long, um, I was shown how to do embossing at a teacher vendor fair at a conference I was at, and I was so excited by it that I actually, I bought everything I needed, my heat tool, my, um, some stamps, the embossing powder. I used to buy embossing powder by like the 500 gram size that they were huge bottles of embossing powder. And that's all I did. I embossed every single thing I made. I embossed. And about five years after that, I went to my first stamping up workshop and the demonstrator showed me well, showed all of us how to do two-step stamping and it like blew me away and I signed up to be a demonstrator right then and there and started my journey with stamping up 25 years ago so it um, was pretty remarkable but it is my favorite type of stamp set because this is a two-step stamping and of course I love floral images and this is the perfect um, stamp set because it has the two-step stamping and it has three sentiments in it so you've got everything you need and the best part you can earn it for free so that's what we're using this month um so let me just show you in the catalog um where you would find this one it's right past the middle of the catalog and it is the first offering for um, the $100 level or level two stamp sets and you get the stamp set and an embossing folder which is a really good deal and you can see it has some beautiful samples here too that have been used so um, that's that and I just want to remind you that the new mini catalog went live on um, Thursday so this is available for you to order from and if you need a catalog don't hesitate contacting me so I can get one in the mail to you all right let's get started so the two cards that we're gonna make tonight are these and um, I'm gonna show you a little technique with this one a fun technique that you can use to add some texture so we have um, this card here just white on white and then I'm gonna bring out that um, gorgeous grape ink again and be stamping um, on this one as well which is another um, really simple card to stamp and as I have said before usually on the first night of the month for um, Simply Stamping Sunday we do a lot of stamping so we're not going to be using a lot of extras with the designer series paper and um, other stuff to um, get these cards made. So let's get started. Since this is two-step stamping, um, I am going to just add a piece of paper, actually one of my little runoff packets here. I've been grading papers all day, so I've got some sheets with some lesson plan stuff on it. And we're gonna do our stamping. And so all I need, well, what I need for this first card, let me share this with you first. You just need a piece of 
eight and a half by five and a half um, basic white thick um, cardstock. Let me just get my bone folder out and we'll crease that really well. That's the base of our card. I'm going to set that aside. You're going to need a piece of just regular basic white cardstock that measures four and five and a quarter. And then this, I think it's one and a half. Nope, it's one and a quarter. One and a quarter by ten and a quarter. Um, this is a piece of the softly stippled uh, cardstock. Um, I mean designer series paper. And I'm just using the coral top side because it's going to match with what we're stamping. So what I'm going to do first is the stamping. And I am using, there are two sets of flowers in this set. So I'm going to use one on each card. I'm going to start with some old olive ink and I am going to stamp and just make a border of the, so I'm going to go off the paper a little bit to start. I'm just going to make a border right up the side of the leaves and you'll notice that when they stamp they have these big open areas which is awesome because then um, we can add the flowers in. It will take, on this size paper, three um, sets of the leaves to fill that side. So I'm done with that stamp, and I'm also done with the um, eight grain ink for right now. So I'm just going to set that aside. And then next I'm going to get out the Calypso Coral um, ink, and I'm going to take the larger flowers. And this is how easy it is to do this. This will match up really nicely. So I have this image over here to my left that is a little bud that's going to fit right over here off the side. So you can see it here. And then I have the two big flowers that are going to fit here and here. So what I'm going to do is I line up that bud first and then everything falls into place. Look at that, how easy it is to do two-step stamping, especially with these um, photopolymer um, stamps. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Um, line up that bud. And then over here, I just have to turn everything because I adjusted the stamp a little bit. Look how easy that is to stamp a beautiful um, set of floral images. Just so easy. Now I wanted to add some texture and this is the thing I wanted to show you tonight. Just a little trick with your paper cutter that you can do that will add um, sort of like some dry embossing. So I'm not going to use my cutting tool, so my cutting blade. So this dark gray one, I want to keep it up at the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just past the flower. So I'm going to go to about two and a quarter. Or do I want two and a half? Nope, I want two and a quarter. I'm going to go to two and a quarter. And I'm going to take my scoring tool. And I'm just going to score that line. And then I'm going to move just a quarter of an inch and score. And I'm going to do that five times. So there's two. Here's three. I just go over it a couple times to make sure it's really well defined. Here's number four. And here's number five. And that just gives me a little bit of dimension in with my card. And if you can see that, you can see it a little bit. Just gives it some of that. I, I love it. It's just a simple technique that you don't need um, a lot um, to add that little bit of dimension. So what I'm going to do now is grab some, I don't want the mini ones, let's get... Just looking for, there we go, some dimensionals. 
and I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this card. It is really easy to create some beautiful cards with not a lot of materials. And so that's the purpose of Simply Stamping Sunday, is that we don't add ribbon, we don't add, um, we just don't add a whole bunch of stuff to um, the card. We just um, want it to be um, really simple. So now what I want to do before I put this on, I want to wrap this around the front of my card. So I'm kind of making a belly band here, but not really. It's not going to be coming off the card. And what I want to do is find a pair of scissors. And I'm going to trim just a little bit of this off. And then I am going to make a banner by just cutting up right in the middle of this piece of paper and then bringing my scissors over and cutting at a diagonal to meet that. And so it gives me just this little banner end. And then before I put this on, I'm going to stamp in the garden green ink um, the hello there. So it's going to go right here. Just going to center it. So again, by adding just this strip of designer series paper, it kind of breaks up the cardstock, gives it a little um, color, and another way to use your cardstock. And we have the, let me just get it nice and straight. There we go. And I'm just going to add some. Of to hold it in place. And now I can take off my backings to put onto. Actually, I can put them right over here so they're out of the way. There we go. And this is going to go on the front of the card. And our first card for tonight is done. There we go. That is card number one. Such a pretty card. Nice little note for um, a friend. If I want it, I could stamp inside. Maybe I will do that just to add just a little more to it. There's plenty of room on this card to write a message inside. So there's my garden green. And let's add the Calypso Coral. Easy peasy, and that just adds a little bit more to the inside of the card. So card one is all done. All right, let me just close up these ink pads because we are done with them. All right, so now let's get on to our next card that we're going to do tonight. So I did cut two small pieces of the um, perennial lavender designer series paper. So um, I cut the back. There's the um, lavender designs on one side, and then the other side has a um, checkered plaid and just a piece of purple. The purple piece measures three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter, and this one measures one and a half inches by five and a quarter. Then I have a piece of four by five and a quarter um, piece of crumb cake, 
and then I have a piece of eight and a half by um, eight and a half by five and a half of the crumb cake cardstock, and then finally a piece of basic white cardstock that measures three and three quarters by two inches, and that's what we're stamping on. And my final piece is two inches by. Um, seven eighths of an inch. All right, so let's get stamping. So on this, um, just to remind you what the card is going to look like, um, this is the card we're doing. It's another quick and easy two-step stamp, stamping image. So um, I'm going to do my stamping first, and I'm going to use crumb cake for my vines. And I am just going to stamp this at different heights across the front of this card. And then we're going to be filling it in with the gorgeous grape ink. There we go. Got a bunch of vines there. And I'm going to be using the other floral image which I hope you can see okay through the camera. It um, has some smaller flowers, but more of them. And again, it has um, a couple of blossoms, one right here on this part and one right here at this part. So it's easy to line it up again. So I'm gonna stamp that up. And the first thing I'm going to do is just line up those blossoms and everything else seems to line up afterwards so it's a little off but it's okay there's a lot on this one to line up so most of them are lined up some of them aren't the way I've done my stamping I'm going to be stamping over some of the um, images and that's okay because that's how a flower um, patch is going to grow the flowers are going to be in multiple places, not just um, neatly in their spots. So I'm going to keep doing this until I get all my blossoms filled. It's really remarkable how easy it is to use this stamp set. So here's the stamped image. Give you an idea. And I still need the grape ink, though I do need to clean off my Hello There stamp so I can stamp it in the grape. You don't need a piece of paper to um, put over the glass mat. I am using a paper over it because I was stamping off of my images tonight and I didn't want to get the ink onto my other cards. So that's the main reason I did that. Okay, now we're ready to put this one together. So the first thing that I'm going to do, this is going to be going right across this and it's going to have this piece right down the middle. So we'll start with this piece and put it right down the middle. So I'm just going to put one strip of the adhesive and then get this right in the middle. Now I had thought about, I didn't do it, but I had thought about it. I was thinking about even stamping some of the florals right on the piece of purple cardstock, um, the designer's hair paper. I think that would have looked kind of cool, but um, I decided not to. But that is definitely something you could do with this to add a little bit more dimension. Okay, I'm going to add this to the front and I'm putting this right in the center. Oh. Yeah, I think it's pretty close to the center. There we go. I am going to add this dimensionals on the back of this to raise it up just a little bit.
I do use a lot of dimensionals. I, I love to have that little bit of support, kind of bring things, give it different um, dimensions and raise things and lower things. And I'm going to put this right in the center as well. So it's just big enough to go over these pieces of designer series paper. And then this piece is going to be added towards the bottom. And I'm going to need to put dimensionals here and along the bottom of this in order for it to be even. And this is the bottom here. And then I'll just add a little bit of adhesive um, to have in the corner. All right. There we go, that looks great. And we'll add this to the front. And there we have our second card done. Again, I can add some flowers to the inside just to add to carry the design from the front over to the inside of the card. Just line up those. There we go. And that is our second card for tonight. So thank you so much for joining me tonight for Simply Stamping Sunday. Um, make sure you say hello in the comments. Tell me what you think about tonight's cards. Do you have a favorite? And um and tell me what you think about this stamp set. Remember, it's free during celebration. So that's so exciting. And I will be back Friday night for an edition of Fun Fold Friday. And I will be back next Sunday night for week two of using our softly sophisticated stamp set. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you've had a great weekend. I hope you didn't get too much snow where you live. Um, we didn't get as much as they were. Um, anticipating or forecasting. So I guess that is a good thing. And I will see you Friday night or next Sunday night for Simply Stamping Sunday. Good night, everybody. Have a great week.